Welcome guys to Thrawn's Revenge, a mod for Star Wars Empire at War, a game that was released in 2006 and has, I would say recently, but it's not recently, it's been a while ago, got a new update called Forces of Corruption, which allowed it to expand into bigger and bigger mods. And this is one of them, Thrawn's Revenge, the, currently I think the most popular mod surpassing Awakening of the Rebellion and Republic at War. And the people that made this mod have like two other mods, one of them being, uh, if I remember correctly, it was uh, Fall of the Republic, which is set in the Republic era and the Clone Wars. I might be playing that later, but for now we're playing Thrones Revenge. And the other one is in the Old Republic. That one I want to check out, but I don't think it's uh, advanced enough yet to be as enjoyable as Thrones Revenge, obviously, since it's a newer mod. But we'll be playing a bit of Thrones Revenge today, and obviously Galactic Conquest. I would put it on Admiral difficulty, but I think I'm new to this mod. I actually don't know anything about this mod, unlike Awakening of the Rebellion, which I've been watching videos for years now. For some reason, I never really get interested in other people's videos in this mod. What? Known galaxy? Why is it? This one's bigger than this one. Full galaxy and known galaxy. This one has more uh, factions playable. Known playable faction Huts and Duskin. Known playable faction Chiss Dependency. Ascendancy. Huts, Duskin League, Independent Forces. Playthroughs. Wait, play through a smaller version of Star Wars. History from the Battle of Endor to just before the Vong invasion, including the Unknown Regions. Era 1 to 7, configurable, playable factions, Empire, New Republic, Empire of the Hand, Pentastar Alignment, Riyadh Authority, Greater Mal Maldrud, Warlords, Jin. Where is the Hapens? Oh, this is the smaller version, sorry guys. Hapes Consortium, yeah. Corporate Sector. Area other authority. Yeah, I think this one has everything. Oh yeah, when I scroll down, it does that. Uh, nah, that's what I did. Non playable faction, just dependent uh, ascendancy. Huts, that's gonna leave. I want to play Huts at some point. Uh, I think they're gonna make it playable in the future. Play through Star Wars history from the Battle of Endor. Yeah, scenarios with more planets and active factions. Choose starting era. No, did I do the first yeah. Uh, do I not select a faction here? I select it in the game. Well, let's just check these. Historic conflicts. Oh, so these are just independent. Individual conflicts. Infinity. Known galaxy. Start game? Do I not pick here? I think I pick inside. So we're gonna play the New Republic. I know, maybe you guys want me to play something else, and obviously in the future, else. For now, we start with the New Republic, if it allows us. When do we pick? We'll achieve victory if... How do I pick a faction? Truton Teradon... I think I, I did it wrong. Quit game. I think I was supposed to pick somewhere. Cancel. Ah, I am blind. <laughs> I've got an issue with blindness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try to. That file will be deleted because it will be in the auto save. Okay. Let's look at all this. It's paused, right? Hopefully. Uh, Era progression, Mon Mothma, the Emperor may be defeated, but our work is far from over. Many systems will still remain under Imperial oppression oppressors. Fortunately, the Imperials have begun infighting. We must take advantage of this opportunity. I recommend you begin by relieving our Solistan allies who have been surrounded by the forces of Sander Delver Delvardis. The New Republic progresses through the eras by killing the Imperial leader, with some exceptions. 
the air can also progress automatically after 60 in-game weeks as the heirs change the new republic will gain and lose access to different time appropriate units and heroes to progress to era 2 the empire must lose sight vestige percent or 60 more weeks must elapse new republic will achieve victory if all enemies are removed from the galaxy so just a debug mode for now i pause because i have zero idea how the map looks like i'd rather <laughs> Start from the top. Uh, display shipyard level. Yeah, displays everything nice. So these are the Corsac here. It's it's right about where they're supposed to be. Maybe over here, I'd say, but that that makes sense. So we are over here with Mon Calamari. Has is that it? It's not all the planets that I would have put. Not like the awakening of the rebellion. You could put like another Raxus Prime. Where is Raxus Prime? Is this Raxus Prime? Yeah, it's Raxus Prime. Where is it? No, I guess they didn't put it. I'd say it's a pretty important planet to put, no? Yeah, well. So, Moncala, what do you have here? Two Liberties, one MC40A, one Corellian Corvette, and one Liberator Cruiser. So unlike ship crews, 31, 11 per week, difficulty captain, food 4, industrial parts 4, influence level 6. Oh, it's just the planet itself. If I switch planet, I know. I think this is for everything. Stockpile resources. Over here, who do we have? Uh, MC80 home 1 type. A dauntless heavy cruiser. And uh, what does she command? Commands immobilizer, 418 cruiser, cross carrying boat. What is that one? Immobilizer cruiser. Never heard of that one before. As you can see, I know little to nothing about this mod. So it's going to be an enjoyable experience seeing it. From the beginning these are assault frigates yeah oh so we can build everything this we don't have the money for it oh we do have the money why can't we build this ship crew 50 oh we don't have the ship crew i see so over here is the hut space what you're the huts no no empire oh yeah kessel should uh, yeah this is a hot space Isia, Dalhata. Oh, only two planets for the huts. Oh, Kashyyyk? Independent forces. No, no, wait. Independent forces. Independent forces. Oh, is it slowly gonna add them to the factions? I don't think it added all the planets to each faction. Independent forces, independent forces. Rylot. We got... Hothless, Bothawi. Got a planet in the middle of nowhere here. Contrum. How do we reach you? Generally, I'd say through Kessel, then Thanos. Is that Thanos? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a joke. <laughs> Zinj. Do we have any other planet? I'm just looking at this. We have Generous. What do you have? A Dauntless, no? Hmm. That's not enough to defend you against all of this. Why do you have so little planets? Did they not get assigned all of them yet? I think I have to unpause the game for them to be assigned. Hmm. You two are by yourselves. I'm trying to see how I'd uh, connect the worlds together. So these two are connected. Endor, Vespin, Hoth, Saiju. Where Solus? Solus is all by itself. We could... We could do uh, Ayatu. We could smash right through uh, Ayatu 6. But with what fleet? We have Anabion B. Dreadnoughts. 
Let's all forget. Quasars. What do you command? MC-80 homeworld. Okay. So, two capital ships. What about Endor? Oh! Three. Four. Five, actually. Five capital ships. Yeah, that's enough. Except I don't want to leave you undefended. What type of space station do you have? Light frigate shipyard. This doesn't actually tell you. Well, we'll get. I guess we'll see. We'll acquire. What is this? Political story, research option. I see. So this is the uh, shipyards. Trade port. We could build a golem. Do we want to build a golem here? I don't think the independent factions attack you unless you attack them. So we are surrounded by independent factions. The only way they can attack us is the Empire of the Hand, I'd say. And we can deal with them later. And maybe they could go smash through Bakra. Deep space. So, we send all of these fleets over here, then we attack Eatu. We connect with Celeste, which has two Dauntlesses right now. Three? Yeah, three Dauntlesses. And we can build ships over here as well. Why do they count these as frigates? <laughs> they're like capital ships to me. <laughs> I guess to the mod creators, they're frigates. No? Does it say frigates? Construct fr cruisers. Ah, uh, sure, cruisers. Uh, do we build them? Uh, Bespin. Can you, you can build sh oh, Weird. You can't build anything. You can build things cheaper. What about Endor? Endor can't build anything. Okay. So we build ships here. We've decided. Can we build a capital shipyard? Demolish construction. Uh, constructible station. Heavy frigate shipyard. Oh. And over here it should say Dreadnought shipyard. Yeah. Over here. Nothing. Heavy frigate shipyard. Light Frigate Shipyard. Do we have the Heavy Frigate Shipyard? We have Heavy Frigate Shipyard, yeah. And Bespin, Heavy Frigate Shipyard, where is it? Yeah, we, we have them on both. So Heavy Frigate Shipyard is these. From what I understood. This one already has the Heavy Frigate Shipyard, and it also has the Dreadnought Shipyard. I'm guessing you can, you can build an, all, an advanced version of the Dreadnought Shipyard. Allows building of dreadnoughts. Oh, that's quite a lot of fighters. Corellian corvettes. Maybe long bees. Five of them. Corona frigate. Five of them. SL frigates. Two of them. MC-80 Liberty. Two of them. Two MC-80s. Whoa. Majestic cruiser. MC-80V cruiser. E-1-3. Oh, what, does, what do those... Stand for MC ATV cruiser, MC 90 cruiser. What's the MC 90? We don't have access to it. I guess we'll see. We can also go for Mustafar. It doesn't have a space station, I'm guessing. So, what does this stand for? Shipyard level 2, heavy frigate shipyard tier 2. Oh, oh, I see. Light frigate shipyard, it says over here. This would be three, no? This would be this would be four. So what is what is three? Hmm. So what do they get with uh, a light uh, heavy frigate shipyard? Assault frigate, Corona frigate, maybe on B. Corellian. Let's see the defenses of this. Same, same. But they, I'm guessing they have a Golan space station. Offensive orbital defensive structures. We have two of them. They have one over here. I think this fleet would be enough to take that. Ryloth, what do you got? You got this. MC40A. You are a small ship, aren't you? You have a heavy ship. The frigate shipyard. You have a bit of money. I'd rather focus on the money for now so what are our money making worlds minus 79 so not Saijo 
best spin would be a money making world. So you'd build a trade board here, no? An orbital to trade board providing bonus income to the planet is lightly armed but provides minimal defensive power against a dedicated assault. Hull 2400, shields 3000. Oh no, that's, that's the heavy frigate and capital. So plus 50 credits per week from each trade route. Food minus two a week, parts minus two a week, build limit one, total fifteen. What does that mean? You don't have one yet, do you? And where does it place it? I'm guessing it places it over here. Tax collection agency plus one hundred percent credits, influence minus two, build limit two. I mean honestly on you I'd build those. Mining facility plus four hundred weeks. Yeah, 400 credits per week. And this is plus 100% credits. So if we already have plus 100%, that means the base would be 95. No? Tax collection agencies, 150. Unit upkeep minus 10, minus 20. Well, base income 150. So we'd get another 150. While instead over here we'd get plus 400 and it wouldn't do anything to the planet. What else can we build? Let's check before we build things. Naval Academy, ship crews. Ship crews plus 10 per week, a training facility for naval officers and ship crew members provides ship crew resources, an ag agricultural production facility, which increases your food output. See the resource staff for more information. Industrial parts plus 10 per week. So we get, we have 31 ship crews. How many do we get a week? How can I check that? Industrial staff. Hero and unit tooltip overview. Story events, spoilers, influence and unique units, galactic faction statistics. There's so many things that you don't even know opens the galactic log. I'm guessing this resources, no? Yeah. Okay, this is long. There are two types of resources in Empire at War. Spendable and drooling. Spendable resources include credits and ship crews, which are used primarily to cons construct ships. Rolling resources, food, industrial parts are not spent directly and instead result in decreased production speed and increased cost when in negative. Industrial parts. So we get 14 per week. So if we build something, for example, that consumes it, this will drop to 9. And for example, this one, minus 2 influence. Oh, this is only minus 2 influence. So what about influence? It didn't mention influence. An instant results in decreased production speed and increased cost when in the negative. This is really complicated. Well, not really, <laughs> but a lot to read. All values reflect calculations from the last week ending. Trained ship crew income. Ship crews are used to build ships and are trained at capital buildings, military academies, and cloning facilities. Ship crews per week, 11. So we get 11 per week, I see. Food supplies. Food supplies go to your citizens and armed forces. It is gained from farms and some planets. Food supply expenditure, 31. Income, 35. Yeah, so it's 4. I see. That food supply is 4. So we don't want to hurt the food supply. And this doesn't hurt the food supply. It just gives us income. But what else would we want to build on uh, Bespin other than income? It's an income generating plant, right? Minus 30% to price. This company provides a discount and time reduction for all trans Galmec products, Bulwark, and Bulwark 2, 3 crew battle cruisers. Do we have access to them even? Battle cruisers. I'm guessing they're uh, capital shipyards, uh, capital ships, which we don't have access to, no? Bul Bulwark. 
Do I remember it correctly? I remember they looked like Dauntless Cruisers, but I might just be entirely wrong. Battle Cruisers. So they're uh, a capital ship. Uh, planet Defender. Planet Air Shield Generator. Base Defense. Barracks. Light Factory. So Barracks gives you crew, no? Minus one food. Army Trooper. Mm -hmm. Oh no, just just allows training so it's not so these just allow uh, construction of ship crews and whatever new industrial parts industrial part and your food I see so we do build this is what I realized after reading all that you generally I'm guessing you don't have a big where did we read the credits from oh, yeah over here Base income is 150. Structure upkeep. What kind of structures do we have? Oh, we already have full structures over here. So you are our production plant, I'm guessing. Allows training of infantry units. Heavy factory. Light factory. Senator's office, what do you do? Minus food, minus industrial parts, plus one implement. Taxation level. Where is our full influence? I'm guessing influence over the particular planet. So if your influence drops on a particular planet, it affects that planet. Faction government information. Current chief of state, one more quest, supported candidate, updates only. Active command staff, updates only, change. Chief of state election, the new republic elects a, a new chief of state every 10 weeks. Each candidate has their own bonuses or downsides. You can choose who to support from the story actions tab. <sighs> Chief of State candidates will change depending on time period, control planets, and other faction factors. Chief of State candidate Leo Organa, solo. I like that. Requirements always present. Resources information from resources. Oh, we have two of those. How do I delete one of them? Actively access two of them. Trade ports, 0 out of 15. Mining facilities, 0. Tax agency, 2. Persistent damage for superstar destroyers. Faction information, planets owned, 6. What? Corporate sector authority, oh no. Wait, so. Forgot to do this. Oh, it's not much larger. Net industrial supplies, I see. I'm good, I would have had a heart attack. But this one, on the other hand, all plans gain one influence level. Effect additional ship crews plus ten percent. Chandrilla's influence ma max. What? Force failure requirements all is present. Effect both and spy teams fifty percent. Yeah. Both and assault cruisers. Okay. And faster build time. Stacks with other bonuses. Both the we. Influenced max. Okay, that's good. And grants access to bot and assault cruisers research available after air three. Disables Akbar as a command staff option. Why? Does he not like him? Yeah, as you can see, I don't know much about the lore. <laughs> Besides what I've seen in the movies and the TV shows. Requirements always present. Affect all influence units unlocked at an influence cost. Influence level. Oh, sorry. At any influence level. Okay. Siantev. I don't know how important this is, but it's probably quite important. The requirements always present. Soros sub units 50% cheaper. That's uh, aka that's the Liberator, I'm guessing. The Quasar and the Dauntless. So nice. Faster build time. 50 Five percent stacks with each with other bonuses, limited prebor. Uh, so all of these we'll read them at some point. Command staff admirals. The new republic has a flexible pool of senior officers that may be appointed and dismissed at any time using build options at their location. Up to four commanders may be active at once, depending on. You see what is that? Plus an additional one when new class modernization phase. Two is research researched. Dismissing in an officer will free a slot 
to appoint an available replacement, losing a commander in battle will incur administrative costs before a replacement can be appointed. Commander options. General locked when Borsk Thalia is chief of senate. Rumbisnant Hussein uh, Sov. Han Solo requires Millennium Falcon locked in air. 4 plus starts. Locked by new class phase 2 can be re enabled in era 7 1. So, what does he command? Will he still command the Millennium Falcon? I'm guessing. Lando Calrissian requires Lady Luck. Garm Bellibliss locked in era 3. Kiram Dixon, okay. Whoa! Mediate research. So, I'm guessing it's where we saw this. We can support Leia for Chief of State, Re reassign this commander from the front lines to make room for replacement. No. Support Borg's failure for Chief of State. So we can already support somebody from now. But right now we have one already. We have one more one, no? Uh, forgot how to access. <laughs> Generally it access it through here. Missions. Missions log. Sorry. <laughs> Government overview. Current chief of state, Mon Mothma. Updates on weak change. Oh. All plans gain one influence level. That's okay. Additional ship crews. Okay. Boris failing. I don't know about you. You get to the back bar, so it's not a good idea. All influence units unlocked at any influence level. I don't know about that one. You only have bonuses, I'm guessing. Limited pre board fighter deployment. Solace influence maxed. Enables Bulwark 3, but retires homeward type. Mediator research locks Bulwark 3. Requirements always present. Affects all units created 15%. Druid's influence maxed. Navik red. The red requirements always present, defensive ground and space structures, 20% cheaper road use influence max. I'm trying to see if there's anybody like really good. KDY units, 15% cheaper, faster build time, 5% stacks with other bonuses, limited A9 fighter deployment, MC30A BAC, Majestic Defender Carrier. Quads influence max and grads access to Mon Mothma Star Destroyer research. I'm guessing it's this guy. We'll just support Mon Mothma. Because she doesn't do anything bad. <laughs> She's not evil. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're our second admiral. Yeah, yeah. Admiral, we assigned this guy. So he was MC80, right? Come on. Come on, yeah. Our other ones, I'm guessing they're somewhere else. Do we have someone over here? No. Chardan, how do we reach you? We take Ayatu and then Vondrak. I guess that's how. I mean, you are connected to Talasi and Bothui and. Co oh! We have quite a connection over here. And to reach Ryloth, we need Rodia. That's it. We need to smash through hut space to reach one color. You're not an admiral. Where are our other admirals? You're an admiral. You, you. Not as an admiral. I'm guessing not, obviously. You probably. Command tier 4 is the commander of New Republic Intelligence Spymaster. Where was our other one? We must have one more. We were supposed to have four, no? Or am I missing something? Nobody over here. Can we just assign a new one? 
Because over here it suggests that we have space for new. Hmm. I don't know where they are. I guess I might just be blind and haven't seen a planet yet. Anyway, I've been paused for way too long. Let's just build a ship over here first. Over here. And what do we build? I think we want fighters, right? We have a quasar over here that gives us fighters. Another quasar. Let's get the liberator, I'm guessing. Next, a liberator. Unit. Doesn't take from anything, right? Bombing guns, orbital bombardments, boardable. Oh, yeah, we can get boarding ships. Boarding shuttle. Oh, damn. Units canceled. Do we have one already? Boarding shuttle? Anyway? Nope. 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 Let's build one first. Because I'm guessing this is our main front line. Over here, do we have a warning shell? Nope. You guys. I'm guessing none of them are built at the beginning. You just have to build them yourself. You don't get any at the beginning. But they're quite expensive. If you lose one, you're losing like basically two MC, uh, MC-80 liberties. Like, that's quite a bit of money. You're going down the drain if you lose one. And they're quite weak from what I've seen. Do we wait for it to finish? Let's wait for it to finish. First of all, coordinates received. Same course. Over here. You guys. Chardan. You can be attacked by not these guys I'm getting I'm guessing. You guys are, uh, yeah, no, you're, you can be attacked by these guys, but they don't have much, I'm guessing, on this planet. And it's not like they can defeat a level 3. Oh, you have a level 3. Let's see what the level 3 is like. Capital Shipyard. Oh. And you can build this. Oh, so these are the capital ships, and down here would be the, dre the dreadnoughts, yeah. We're also surrounded by the Empire. Mm, do I want to remove these space from here? I think it's important to free Dylons. Moving. Moving to destination. Affirmative. The Empire of the Hand has conquered Kaik. <sighs> Kessel. We can probably take Kessel, I'm guessing. We have used most of our money already, so we don't have to worry about spending our money. Who do we send as a forward ship? You. Greater Mount Uh Seeing that the other factions are Coming conquering around. places, Nyrox has been killed already. Ha Veers has been killed. Veers. <laughs> Is that normal? I'm not sure that's normal. I'm not sure Veers was supposed to be killed there. And we can build admirals here. Why? Or are these not admirals? Barracks? Is it because we have a industrial park? No. Senator's office. Is it because we have a senator's office? Anywhere we have a senator's office we can build stuff? So why wasn't it showing it earlier? Oh, is it because we had the, the guy over here? So Akbar, what do you count as? What does it say on your description? Command tier. Command tier 1, space. Wary of traps. Administrator, minus 30% capital ships. Well, we can't build capital ships yet. Anyway. You are... What is... Biography, command, capital. Fleet commander. Fleet commander.
top admirals. Admiral Kalbach. I don't know. Place this commander in active duty. Here I'm Drayson. Place this commander in active duty. Command tier 4, space, by master biography. Commands P. Procursator, Star Destroyer, True Fidelity, Invisible Class, Museum Ship, New Hope. Well, what's all this? Empire upgrade his home world. So we, we might get one of these. Uh, I think I'll get this guy first, then we'll see what we can get next after that. You are built. Joining fleet at new rally point. Go first. We're gonna get the battle soon. Ah, not as soon as I thought. Yes, who's in command? Oh, we only got... We don't have many big ships here. You should probably build some before that, you know? I don't think this is anything that can destroy a... Oh, but these guys haven't arrived yet, have they? Yeah. Then we're gonna get our uh, ships. So, not yet. I haven't looked much at the... Inf the inf the... Vehicles. Well, we'll look at them in the battle. Ariadne has conquered, has conquered, has conquered it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Complying with orders. Okay, everything has gone in here. Good. Uh, but still, only an MC and Liberty. We'll see what we can do. Come, it's happening. Let's see which one triggers first. Tactical battle okay, completed. this one. Let's see what happens. So we have a a boarding vessel. Enemy forces ahead. I should probably watch a video on how to use boarding vessels. Yes, I'm still recording. I thought I stopped recording at some point. Oh, the game before the that. You know what? Time for a screenshot. Okay, that's gonna be the thumbnail. This is really nice thumbnail. Maybe I should have brought you in first. <laughs> They're super slow. Squadron reporting. What are these? H-Wing Squadron. They're bombers, right? Long range strike fighter bomber was a successor to designed to the famous Y-Wing. However, the H-Wing would never reach the same level of fame and mass use as its predecessor. Of its pre predecessor. I went for a bathroom break. I'm back now. Uh, let's unpause. And while I remembered it just now, I'd like to ask you guys to subscribe maybe if you feel like it. Because you don't know how much it actually increases my mood whenever I see a new subscriber. It's like, if I have a bad day and I see somebody subscribe to my channel, it really puts a smile on my face. And it helps me post more videos. If I see people that subscribed to me, like three new subscribers, I'm like, I want to make a video Ready. for these new three subscribers. So it really does help. And liking the video as well helps so much. It makes this video show up to other people. But, okay, we, we'll get into the fight now. I don't know how this works compared to Awakening of the Rebellion, so I'm going to put the ships further back. You behind it. You over here. We've got our you, what do you command? Oh, nice. An interdictor, I'm guessing. You 
in the back. Roger, sending course, sir. Back. There's nothing we can't handle. Over Orders here. received. Over All here. work. Over Underway. Here. Over Moving here. into position. <laughs> I like the lasers. They look so cool. What? These are so cool. And the, I like how... Oh, this one has like three. I'm guessing this is the... Let me check. Who's firing those? Nobody at this point. I'm guessing those are... Turbo laser battle batteries, no? Heavy dual turbo lasers. Heavy dual ion cannons. They're not dual, they're triple. That's so cool. Anyway. Oh, the Empire is firing that. Who's firing it? Quad turbo laser, I'm guessing. Light quad. Let's command everybody for now. I'm really not used to this. <laughs> Ships firing so fast and everything moving so fast. You guys, let's let's put things in. You stay back, you two. You, yes, you are in the victory. Prevent any... Sure. Missile jamming. You are four. Five. And where is the light frigate? Frigate yeah. reporting. You guys will be six. No, we don't even have to. Well, six, okay. He's not stopping. Is it not S to stop? I press S. Too far ahead. Keep your eyes open. Okay, you. I don't know what happened. Okay, I like how ships move in a straight line in this one. Unlike how we can go there, Vilnius. This is just always active. Good. Y wing squadron reporting. Y wing standing by. Viewing. Your orders. Any more bombers? Bombers at the ready. You are group two, two, two. Uh, you can go after the space station. You can attack. Starting my run. Fighter base, sure. And I won't assign the fighters to anything. You guys Waiting can just order. attack. Target confirmed. J wing squadron reporting. Attack. We're starting our attack run. They're just melting. I have never met this guy in my life. <laughs> wow, this this is such a feel good moment. <laughs> it's like, wow, ship just melt. I don't need to fight. <laughs> I need. I don't need to worry about micromanagement. Where's the frigate? Where are you? Six. Oh, you're over there. Ships are sometimes invisible. What? Do fighters not smash through? Oh, they don't smash through shields. In this mod, they have to go through shields. That's okay as long as they do a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, shield damage. Apparently, there is a mod I just saw it earlier that allows them to go through shields. Three, rush here. Boost weapon power for these guys. I thought it would be speed. Copy. My copy. Hunt. Oh no! Don't even hunt. What's what's this over here? A wing here. Huh. Squadron advance. Closing on enemy. 
These released a shit ton of fighters. One fighter, one bomber. Oh, that's it? It felt like way more. Medium iron cannon. What about you? One fighter, one bomber. Nice fight. So easy this <laughs> And before I eat my words. We are only at 45 minutes. Let's fight this fight as well. It's gonna happen soon. Okay, so before that, let's see what kind of, kind of ground army do we have. We got our money. From what I see, we have a light factory, a barracks. Why do we have two of them though? Light factory and barracks. Is it useful in any way? How much money do you produce base income? I'm guessing it's a lot. These waste industrial parts, don't they? Why would I have these in food? If this planet can already produce everything. Plus, I'm guessing more base income. 400 base income. Should I switch it to the other planet? Wait, let me see. Uh, construction station, capital shipyard, taxation level. Dreadnought shipyard. But wait, uh, there is a place where it says uh, the amount I can build. Tier 3. This is the one that I have right now. Where does it say the type that I can build? The level. it wouldn't. More than spy team. That's expensive for a spy team. In my opinion. Where do you want to build an admiral? We don't have one here, do we? Nobody is leading over here. But it's expensive. Let's see a planet that isn't expensive. Well, 1,000 expensive. Says a lot. Star Destroyer. MC-80, not MC-80s. MC-80, no. I feel like I want to see a different ship. Modified Imperial One Star Destroyer. Mad Spater. Looker Help Class Auxiliary Warship. Now that's something I like to see. Can be upgraded to Battle Carrier. Station. You're going up there. Why not? And it's like you're right next to... Never mind. Where is... Geonosis. Wouldn't it be around here? Rhodia, Bothui. I could swear Geonosis would be around here somewhere. Am I tripping? Endor, Bakra. They don't have Geonosis in this? Oh well. That's weird. No, no Tatooine or Geonosis. Tatooine, Tatooine. Mr. Fire is over here. Really? That's weird. Those are like the planets that you would generally put. Huh? It's alright. More production. We want more production. Can we build a heavy factory? I think any planet can build heavy factories, no? Except we only have Three slots over here. We have four over here. You have three. We can dedicate the planet to just vehicles and one to just barracks. No, that could work. Let me check a planet that doesn't have either. You have just the barracks, and you can't build. Oh, yeah, we are building something already on you. You have just this. Oh, you can just build a heavy fa factory without having to build a light factory. Okay, that works. So over here, you have both of you have light factories for some reason. You don't need a barracks if he has a barracks. Except your units are cheaper. So which do I want to be cheaper? I 
think I want more credits, generally speaking. Tax collection. Minus two to influence. How much influence do you have? Six. Oh, that would hurt the influence. Influence plus two. Local infrastructure influence. So this is 540 over here, 600 over here, so we're missing on 60. That's the difference. Depends on how many of these we build. I can build this Beginning construction. and this. Building started. Then remove this and build a heavy factory I think that's more worthwhile it's all about micromanaging and we don't have the money for the heavy factory it's alright we're gonna get it soon I would like to unpause and get these guys out of the planet so we can go and conquer ship but yep yeah, I knew that would happen okay let's capture the ship this time what do we want to capture? Something big. We've located the enemy. Okay. So this is a bigger station, but no, I nothing. I'm guessing they're gonna spawn soon. Because this should have a. Shouldn't it have a garrison? One, two corvettes. Yeah, they just spawned in. I thought they would have more. Kind of like how we have uh, so much. Well then, why waste time? What can we capture? Oh, fucking Corvette. I don't think we, you could even <laughs> capture Corvettes. And they're, uh, they're, they came from the station, so I don't know how that, that would work. Because they're free units, so we... That's like an infinite unit glitch of sorts. Yeah, you could just... Kessel. Oh. <laughs> nice seeing you here. <laughs> Then I expect to meet you here. There they are. Oh, since they attacked us, we just hyperspace right then. Okay, where are you? Open this shit up. They dying, all of them. Where is the? Where is the liberator? You were hiding. Did I just not see you? Yeah, you were like this. Yeah, that makes sense. You are group 4, group 5, group 6, group 3. Now, move forward. Now, if I had a... Uh, a capture ship in this fleet. I could have captured all of this. Ready. I'm Order still learning. Action. I'm still learning. Yes, sir. Right away. Yes, Commander. That. Wait for the rest of the fleet. Three is one. Wait. This way. This way. <sighs> Control A. Fighters. Where did we get them? Ready. We still are pumping out fighters, no? No, not anymore. What is this? 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 That's about it, you're group one. Squadron reporting. And then... Three wings here. Standing by. Ready for orders. 
Where's the where's the viewing? The one viewing thing now. Reporting in. Yeah, group two. Ready for commands. Okay. Group right, one, group two. Commander? Group one. Reporting in. Engage. The fighters. Group Why two. Engage this. Let's let them engage into us. Copy. I copy. Reporting. Underway. Switch fire. Okay, we're destroying them handedly. It's no good. I can't maneuver. Fine. Yeah, you, you guys just do you and stuff. You're just killing everything. This is a hands-free mod. <laughs> Oh well. Ships die real fast in this one. You're real fast. These are their land uh, landing spot. Wow, they launched a torpedo at us. Nice. Who was the red faction? Greater Mal Druid, I'm guessing. It's gonna assault forget for all of this. And we killed uh, that guy, I'm pretty sure. Rodia. Nice. I'm gonna end this episode soon. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. A lot's happened in one episode. The enemy is approaching. So we have less of a fleet over here. Whoa, the planet. That's so nice. That takes so much rendering. It burns the CPU to the ground. What is this behind them? There's something over here. I like how you can see the entire map in this. Because it kind of doesn't make sense that you can't see the map. Like, given the sensors that ships have, like, we as the human race can see so much into space. Like, we can see literally our entire solar system. So you not being able to see the orbit of a planet it's real weird. Moving the same grid coordinates, sir. Moving there now, sir. Roger, setting course, sir. Proceeding to location. Moving out. Roger that. What are you for? You're for anti-fighter, right? All ahead. Sure. Advancing. Acknowledge. I mean, bring in the entire fleet. We're heading out. Location confirmed. Moving to coordinates. Vectors set. Right away. 
Moving out. Moving out. On my way. I like how many ships you can right build. Away. Here come the boys. Our target priority. Here we go for Group Ready. five. Forward. Frigate standing Group by. six. Affirmative. Frigate reporting. Group seven. Nebulon B Brigadier. Dreadnought crews are ready. Copy. Group three. I copy. Moving into position. Marauder cruiser here. Form up. The fighters are coming out. All of them. Just charge in. Lasers linked and ready. Awaiting orders. Copy. I copy. Hit the engines. On Calamari cruise idea. Taking for coordinates. I copy. Orders received. Frigate responding. Order confirmed. Any more fighters? Nope. Fighters are released so fast in this. Got one. Which is weird to be fair. Fighters don't exit their ships that fast. Oh, and we didn't put them all in. So many Nebulon Bs. Such cute ships. Oh. It's a really nice design. You can realize they changed it. And the heavy frigate looks different as well. Everything looks clean in this mod. I realized. While in the AOTR it looks much more uh, rugged. It looks like it's been torn apart. It's as if like the New Republic, after they fo reformed into the New Republic, they started acting like an actual, uh, you know, New Republic rather than a ragtag group of rebels. Which is very realistic if you ask me. Group 2, I want you to attack this. Just kill everything. Weapons charged. Group 1. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Go. Fire at will. Group 4. Reporting. You Moving take out. point. And in five, six. Weapons on. Yes, sir. Enemy out. Incoming. I've got it lined up. Commander. Disappeared Need from the planet. I've lost engine two. I'll try and draw their fire. I've been hit. That's got him. Stay in the cruiser standing by. That's it. 
Scratch Cruiser one. reporting. I got my approach vector. Keep your eyes open. systems active. That. Standing by. Ready for action. I've got Ready. a fix. I've got a fix. Decree through full throttle. Rendezvous at Ready. mark. Six point one. Attack formation. Stay in attack Waiting formation. Around. Setting course. Wing squadron reporting. Calling for me, sir. Ready to cut it. Form up. Form up. Six, seven, two. seven can also come in. I can't see it. I got a waiting order. Waiting order. Armed and ready. Got a fix. Targeting systems active. Ah! It's gone. The fighters ate it up. Which is realistic. This many fighters bombing your station all at once, they're gonna destroy it in seconds. I lost. We're getting the guys from this as well. Heading out. Okay, that should be the takeover squad. Solist, you're entirely surrounded. One left, huh? Everybody besides you. Research complete. Basically, you. Take this. You are the Eriadu Authority. We can entirely destroy the Eriadu Authority in seconds. Let's do a ground battle, and then we end the episode. It's a bit of a longer episode. Actually, not as long as the OTR episodes, but those are really slow to begin with. We're just gonna do this battle, then we do the other battles next time. So this is Rodia, we are freeing rivals. I'm getting bloated. Rodia is a jungle world in the outer rim, home to the Rodians, a reptilian humanoid species, a result of developing alongside dangerous jungle predators. Rodian culture pre prizes the hunt and the satisfaction of the kill. Their society is controlled by the leader of the most powerful clan known as the Grand Protector, who rules the entire planet as dictator. Because of this culture and tightly controlled society, most Rodians found off-world tend to be bounty hunters and mercenaries. I thought they'd be on the rebellion side or the New Republic side, but they're yeah. not, surprisingly. Can do. We need to eradicate all enemy forces to gain control of the planet. <laughs> it doesn't let me go for any further up. I'm here, sir. Control A. Ready. Choose your reinforcements. Reinforcements are made. I'm just seeing the ships or the units for now. These are the ones that the huts use. Reinforcements cancelled. Oh. Adjusting Navi computer. We've secured a build pad. Affirmative. Group one. Reporting in. Got it. So Ooh. we can build stuff here. We've secured. We might be attacked in Rodia. Turret constructing. Turret constructing. Ready to roll. So you guys, group four, five, K2B four. Construction complete. K2B copy. I copy. Three. Armor standing by. Roger that. Moving out. Nice. It's so fast paced. Heading complete. out. Yes, sir. Oh, right away. Terrain, I see. Armor I like ready. it. On it, sir. Ready to roll. Course plotted. Adjusting now. The enemy has been spotted. Okay. I've got him in my sight. The units move so smoothly in this compared to a UTR. 
You can tell the mechanics are better in this mod than uh, AOTR. Like, look, they retreat so much better. Except this guy, I think he's stuck in the wall. I copy. Reporting. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Except you, I want you Forward. to return. So you two ready. will be the new Peace group three over. by yourselves. Weapons ready. You guys, what did you capture? Not this. Form up. The rest of you go down and help. I'm not just go around. Ahead. Whoa. What is this? A building, nice. Whoa, an arena? I like how they change the maps. Out, sir. I mean, it's a, it's a mod that's existed for a long time. They're chasing after. Oh, it only does that much? I see, then you want to get Awaiting it. orders. Fall out, troops. Will do. More infantry to capture stuff. Right away. At maximum unit capacity. Ready to roll. Target in range. Roger that. Main cannons charged. How are you guys doing? For the Alliance. Let's move out. Squad, advance. Reporting. Let's go. Keep going. This way. All right, man. Take cover. Over the rebellion. Over there. Forward. Yes, sir. There they are. Group two. Yes, commander. Oh, what did they I kill? Oh, this guy. That's all it gives me? Whoa. That's really not useful. I mean, it might be for a bombing run. Which... No, I'll give it some time. Yes. Group one, you're finished. You killed them all, right? Right. Bombing run available. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. You give me another one soon. I'm here, sir. Got it. Ready. Ready. In. The infantry is really good. Way more useful than the one in the heading out. Awakening of their belly. Yes, sir. I like how they did the infantry in Awakening of the Rebellion, but they're too weak, I'd say. If they could buff them, then that would be really good. Then they'd be actually useful. But uh, the, the rockets don't deal damage to uh, vehicles in that one. They deal minuscule amounts of damage. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill. I was just joking with you.
No need to get pissed like that. Y wing standing by. E two B over. Right away. Gold squadron commencing attack. Reporting. I have Fall out, troops. Yes, sir. Let's Close move out. Target. Let's go. Yes, Commander. Fire! D2B, copy. I copy. Armor standing by. Ready. Open fire! Head out, man! Attack the target! Yes. Attacking target! Armor ready. Ready to roll. Roger that. I'm here, sir. Ready. Keep going. Affirmative. Awaiting orders. Moving out. Heading out. Heavy vehicle factory is drawing in. This way. Over there. Can do. Yes, sir. Run. Scouting. You are group. We are group. You are no group, I guess. Copy. Fall out, troops. Let's move out. He's completely stuck. Six, give me another scouting thing. Ah, uh, no. Over here. Oh, that's the bombardment? Oh, just one thing. I like it. It's nice. Ready to roll. You guys sit back. Right, You're gonna right, die. Copy. Reporting. You guys kill this. Yeah, I knew the they were blasting. Okay, good. That was a nice ground battle. And a cool ground battle. Planetary control achieved. I see the mechanics on ground battles for this are way more smooth than Awakening of the Rebellion, but Awakening of the Rebellion has more stuff. It feels more polished in Awakening of the Rebellion. Like how the units look, you can zoom in at the ground forces and you can notice that they are rugged. There was a lot of work put into quality rather than functionality. So next time we'll be taking ia 6 I don't know why it still says that it has a heavy frigate shipyard when it doesn't, because it destroyed it. We'll be taking a uh, castle with the ground force that we'll be using. Uh, then we'll see what we can do. I think we'll and, uh, attack this and this, and then we'll go back to Endor and defend it. With the uh, split the fleet and uh, put one in Endor, one over here, and just take uh, ships and capture them. But that's it for today. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.